All right, in today's video, we're going to learn two ways to remove negative elements from a list in Python. So the first way we're going to learn is list comprehensions. And the second way we're going to learn is using the filter plus lambda method. So let's crack right into it. The first method we're going to learn is using list comprehensions. So if you're not familiar with the concept of a list comprehension, I have literally an entire series on list comprehensions. I think it's almost 20 videos. Um, but without further ado, I have a list here called test list. And you can see that we have some positive values, some negative values. Uh, we even have 0 and 0 0.5. And so what we're going to want to do is to filter out these negative values such that we only have positive values. So with a list comprehension, how do we do that? So what we want to do is x for x in test list. And then here's the important part. So here on the right side of the list comprehension, we're going to do what basically amounts to a filter. And we're going to write if x is greater than 0. And when we run this, we can see that we now have a list where every value is greater than zero, right? And so this one actually includes 0 0.5, but it does not include the zero. So if you wanted to also include the zero, we could just simply uh, add a little uh, equal sign here. So now it's greater than or equals zero. So we can run this again. We can see that now we have our zero in here, we have our one in here, our 0 0.5, and we have no negative numbers. So this is how you can filter out all of the negative values in a list using a list comprehension. I would also note that I actually have a full video dedicated to using this if statement on the right side of a list comprehension. So I'll link up that video and you can learn more about using if statements specifically in this way in your list comprehensions. Now, the second way we're going to look at is using filter plus lambda. And this is the second way that we're going to filter out negative elements from our list. So again, we have our list called test list. And this list has not been modified at all. It's the exact same list from the first example. So now what we're going to want to do is use the filter built-in function. And the filter built-in function takes two arguments. The first argument is going to be a function and the second argument is going to be a list. So in our, in our case, the list we're going to use is our test list. And the function we're going to use is actually going to be a lambda. So we're going to do lambda x x greater than 0. So this is kind of the exact same one we saw before, the exact same kind of logic. And we can run this. And worth mentioning that you know filter is going to return a filter object. And uh, if we want to just make that a little bit more readable, all we have to do is wrap that in a list. So you guys can really see the outcome here. So we just wrap this in the list built-in function. And we run this again. And look at that. Uh, we have that exact same outcome from our previous example with list comprehensions, except now we're doing it with filter and lambda. And uh, you know I'll mention just one time again that this time we did it greater than zero, we could do greater than equal to zero, and that way uh, now we have that zero value here in our list. So we got one in here, zero, uh, 0 0.5, etc. So we did this all with the filter function uh, using a lambda as sort of our argument or our, our filter, our function, whatever you want to call it, and then we just wrapped a list around it just to make it more readable. So. In this video, we have learned two ways to filter out negative values from a list. The first way has been with a list comprehension, and then the second way has been using the filter built-in function with lambda. And you can see that after running both of these side by side, uh, we have the exact same output. So you could use either of these methods uh, to reach the exact same end result. Uh, the last thing I'll say is that I think in most circumstances a list comprehension is going to be faster uh, and more efficient. So I think you should try to lean on the list comprehension first, though other people might prefer the filter lambda method if you find it more readable or if you're just using the filter and maybe that object might be faster in, in some ways. But either way, we have two ways to filter out negative values from a list. 
Hopefully you guys have learned something and thank you very much for watching.